What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to look at a proof of the vertex form quadratic equation that I have written here. And a little background on this. If I look at a graph of some parabola, so just sketch one out right here, and I look at the vertex. The vertex we usually indicate with the point h, comma k. And then any other point on the curve here, we just call x, y. And what I want to do is prove this formula, that it does work, that it does come from the standard form of a quadratic equation. So this proof is going to start off, we're going to assume that y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, a is non-zero, this represents just any quadratic equation. So we'll say let y equals this represent any quadratic equation. And we could also say let hk represent the vertex of this quadratic equation. Well then one of the formulas that's going to come in handy here is we're going to use the vertex formula and say that h, so we could say now then h is going to be equal to negative b over 2 times a. So this is just a method we use in algebra to find the actual value for h. We look at the b value, the a value, and, you, and we use the formula negative b over 2a. So then if h is equal to this, we could say this is true, and we could also say that k is equal to a times h squared plus b times h plus c. So think about it very carefully. Anytime I want to find the y value from any equation, I plug in the corresponding x value to the formula, and that would tell me the y value. So if I want to know what k is, I would have to plug in the corresponding value h in for each of these x's. So I would have a, a times h squared plus b times h plus c. But now, what do we gain from this? So from here, we could say, so if I multiply this first equation by negative 2a, so this tells us that b is equal to negative 2a times h. So once again, this equation, I can multiply both sides by negative 2a, and that would solve for b. So this is true. And if I wanted to solve this second equation for c, I could say that c is equal to k minus a h squared minus b h. So all I would have to do here is just subtract these two terms to the other side and that would solve for c. But now, what do we gain from this? Now what we could do is we could make a substitution into our general quadratic equation and see where it takes us. So we could have, so we could say here, so then we could say y equals ax squared, and now instead of b times x, I'm gonna leave a space, and instead of b, I'm replacing b with negative two ah. And now at the end, instead of plus c, plus c we're going to replace with this messy equation here where we have k minus a h squared minus b times h. But notice once again, instead of writing b, I left a space because I want to use this equation we have over here for b. b is equal to negative 2 a h. So now we simplify things a bit. We'll have y equals a x squared. We have minus 2 a h times x. Now we have plus k. And then we have minus a h squared. And here I have minus minus, which changes to plus, and I have two times a, and then I have h times h is h squared. So notice these two last terms here are like terms, so I can combine them. So in the next line here, we're gonna have y equals ax squared minus two a h times x. And now this k I'm gonna leave alone for a moment. I wanna combine these like terms and write it next. So if I have minus a h squared plus two a h squared, that's just gonna give us plus one a h squared, and then we have our plus k at the end. So now I want to focus on these three terms here, and I want to factor out the common a term. So I have a times x squared minus 2hx plus h squared, and the plus k is at the end. So once again, I just factored out the common a. Now from here, notice this inside quadratic is a perfect square trinomial. I could factor this as x minus h times x minus h, so this gives me x minus h squared. We have a times x minus h squared plus k. So this proves the vertex form quadratic equation here. Okay, this is the end of this proof video. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comment section below.